Hi and welcome to Meet the Professionals, a series where I sit down with various people from different industries to find out about their job roles and sort of get a feel for what they do and hopefully inspire some of you guys if you're considering getting into that industry. Today I'm with Duncan and he is from the music industry. So hi Duncan, thanks for chatting no. today. No, not a problem at all. Um, I thought we could start by you just sort of giving um, your job title and just an overview of what you do really. Okay, so I um, am currently head of new business um, for London and the South East for a company called Skiddle. So we are a ticketing platform. So we sell tickets to gigs, festivals, concerts. Um, we're a little bit more than just a ticketing platform. We, we do lots of marketing. Um, obviously, we have a great database. So... Yeah. But on the side from Skiddle, I also have just launched my own project, which is called the Digital Music Academy. Um, so we give um, we give online masterclasses and real music industry advice to up and coming um, artists. So we work with lots of different artist managers, artists. It's all mainly electronic music. Yeah. Um, but luckily that's been keeping me busy during this time, yeah. so um, that's me in a nutshell really. Yeah, amazing. I, I guess outside of obviously being in a pandemic and sort of, I guess the ticketing industry and you know what you were doing before this all happened, I can imagine it's quite, you know, it's quite busy and there's always sort of stuff going on, it's purely, you know, this weird time. <laughs> Oh no, it's uh, it's uh, it's an amazing part of the industry. I mean, I've worked in um, I've worked in music now for nearly twenty years, maybe. How old am I? Yeah, best part of twenty years now. Um, and I've worked in all different sectors of the music industry. I've worked in um, record labels and management, and worked with some really big artists. And um, but ticketing ticketing's fascinating because. Obviously, you get to go to loads of live events, you know, everything that's going on, you know, it's all multi-genre. So it's a really good way of finding out, you know, kind of new artists because you're seeing, you know, you're seeing events, yeah. um, getting booked up. And it's just great helping venues and promoters, um, you know, have sell out events. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's a really, you know, really interesting job. Um, we've got a great team. I think there's 70 of us um, based around the country yeah um really good team everyone's massive music fans um we have a lot of people coming to, coming to us straight from school okay um so you know we we have lots of different departments so you know we'll have people sort of 16 17 coming in for their first job um you know doing admin and things like yeah, that yeah. but you know it's 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 fascinating yeah oh amazing so one of, sort of the questions because you said you've worked in lots of different areas this might be kind of hard to answer but i guess in general someone who's thinking of getting what kind of qualifications you know if you're at college trying to pick your options what what should you go for is there something that you did personally or did you know just sort of find your feet um i found my feet i mean i studied um i studied art so i did uh i did an art foundation at um farnham art college Oh, nice. um, and then I did an art degree, so a, a visual communication degree. And funnily enough, that degree has actually really helped within within my job because it's all a, as much as the music industry is about music, it's about the look and a package and how you market that package. So yeah. unwittingly, I took a lot of skills from you know from my from my education. But you know, it's good to. If you want to get into the business side of it you know it's good to know about business mm -hmm. you know in general even if you want to be an artist we were having this conversation with um with an artist yesterday um uh, uh, electronic artist called shadow child and um we were saying you don't really unless you go and do a business course or you you know you actively go and search it out you don't really know about the business and even if you're yeah. you know thinking of being a you know, a gigging musician doing pub gigs and stuff like that. You know, you have to know about business. You have to know yeah. how to do your accounts. It's so boring. And when you're 16, 17, <laughs> chances are it's like the last thing on your mind. But it's really important. So, yeah, you know, yeah, I, think, yeah. I think that's good. And just, just, just be creative as possible. And, you know, there's a multitude of jobs within the music industry you know you can be an accountant you can be a travel agent you, yeah. can, you know it's, 
you know, people sometimes think that it's, uh, you know, you've got to be really good at a specific thing, but you can have a great skill set that you can apply to this industry. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I mean, you sort of, when you think of our career in music, you just think of like a lot of the time a musician or something like that, but there's so much that sort of goes on behind the scenes. And like you say, if you've got the skills, you could apply it to that. So, yeah. Yeah, and it's really sensible. I mean, I'd, you know, I'd recommend, ev you know, everybody kind of, learn, you know, if you want to get into the music industry, especially if you want to be an artist, you know, learn about marketing. I mean, yeah. most people know, you know, youngsters know about Instagram and Facebook better than anybody. But, you know, these things are really, you know, really powerful tools now. So, yeah. you know, for me, kind of, you know, just just always, you know, always learn. I think that's, uh, you know, that's the thing. Always look for, always look to learn new things that might help you yeah. along the way. Nice. Okay. What would you say is the, your favourite thing about your job? Sort of what do you look forward to the most or enjoy the most? I love hearing new music. Yeah. I think that's the, you know, that's, I, I've worked for many years as an A&R manager. Um, so I actually signed records, you know, day in, day out. And mm -hmm. it's, you know, hearing new music, hearing new sounds, hearing a new artist is, um, you know, kind of keeps the fire burning really with yeah. it. And I think, you know, at the, at the core for everybody that works in the music industry, they they are a music fan first and foremost. There are much easier professions to go into than yeah. working in the music. <laughs> so I think you've just got to have that core passion. Yeah. You know, regardless regardless of what it is, you know, I like lots of different music, but um, yeah. el electronic music's my speciality. So that that's kind of the lane that I've always focused myself in. Yeah. Nice. And that kind of le leads me on to one of the questions I hope to ask is what skills, you know, if you're sort of looking and I mean, you know, obviously you learn a lot of skills on the job and they'd be different than each role you do, but also there's personal skills, isn't there, about bit confidence and things like that. What do you think, you know, you'd be looking for if, say, you were hiring someone or something like that? So, you know, funnily, funnily enough, I think qualifi qualifications always, they're always good because it shows, I think, that somebody has tried hard. Yeah. and you know they're willing to learn their trade you know that is very important um but f you know for, for me it's always personality yeah um you know is 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 a big big thing you know it's a very especially with what i do um and what we do at skiddle it's all about relationships and knowing how to treat people and knowing how to carry yourself really you know it's you can be, uh, you know, okay, I'm wearing a baseball cap today, but, you know, if I've got to go to a meeting, I've got to wear a suit and I've got to dress up, you know, really mm -hmm. knowing kind of how to adapt to your situation and, yeah. you know, those kind of personal skills. And you can, you know, those things you learn over time, you know, so, you know, we, you might find somebody that's got, got just this raw spark that you think you can help. Yeah. Um, but, you know, just be, being nice. Yeah. Being nice, you know, it's it's such a big thing to, you know, and to not be not be afraid of criticism as well. We did some I've I've, I've got a good uh I've got a good um thing to talk about with this. So we were hiring for a job down in London when we set mm -hmm. up the um when we set we set up our London office and one of the questions that I asked everyone was, What are you bad at? <laughs> and there was only one person in the interview that actually picked a part of themselves that they could critique. And I forget what part it was, but it was brilliant. Everybody yeah. else kind of tried to flip, you know, I work too hard and you know, all the, it's yeah. like, that's not one, you know, you don't have to have to flip it because it's, you know, I think when you know where your failings are and you work on them openly, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, it really is. And, um, yeah, so I think, uh, you know, they're, they're always the main things. I mean, we, yeah. you have to be a music fan, you know, especially, especially in our department as, um, you know, it's like the new business department. We're constantly looking for new bands, new promoters, new venues. So you've constantly got to kind of be on, on top of what trends are happening, what bands yeah. are coming through, who, you know, whether an agency's picked up a band or whatever, you've just got to be right, you know, know what's happening within the scene. And that's yeah. really important for us. Nice. Okay. What 
would you say, because you sort of mentioned a lot of things that you've done, but what would you say is your biggest achievement, you know, throughout your career, whether it's the role you're doing now or, you know, something along the way? Um, what are you most proud of? We really, uh, I mean, there's a couple of things, I think. Um, I used to work with Dead Mouse was one of my main, um, main clients I used to work with. And we did... A, he was the first electronic artist to headline the Rogers Centre in Toronto. Oh. It was like a 20 odd thousand capacity arena and we all went over for that show. Yeah. And there was this really surreal moment where we were sat in the control room for the, like the TV studio within the, um, you know, within the stadium and we're watching this show on all these kind of like, you know, it's like a movie thing. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, we more recently, I used to work with a um, with an act called Camel Fat, and we did a record called Cola that was massive, um, yeah. and that went platinum. So that's a really proud that's wow. that's a really proud moment. That's more recent, but there's been there's yeah. been loads. You know, I'm looking nearly <laughs> nearly forty now, and like looking back at everything, and it's um, we did some great. You know, I've done some crazy things. It's I've been yeah. very I've been very very lucky. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Um, where do you see the industry going in sort of five to ten years time? And I've mentioned this in other interviews because a lot of industries may be affected by like AI and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Where do you see the music industry going? Uh, it's, it, it's, it's one of those, it, it evolves and it changes. It's, it's, it's like all culture. It has like these ten year cycles. So things flip and they go back and it's just this constant repetition and um but I think with this crisis that's you know that we're living through at the moment um this has kind of brought forward the kind of idea of virtual events and virtual concerts um you know there's been a lot of things floating around for a number of years there's um there's a great company called Melody VR that have filmed you know hundreds and hundreds of concerts in full virtual reality you know 360 wow. vr so you can wear your headset and you can literally go and be stood in the crowd or on the stage there's all these different points in it that you know that that i think is going to be a big thing but kind of fundamentally music is is about people getting together yeah so i think that at the core will always always stay the same you know even with what's happening now um i mean in in terms of um electronic music there's a lot of change now so there's things like you're you're able to dj with spotify yeah these kind of things so suddenly anybody anybody in the world can have pretty much every single record that's ever been released in the world that's that's really exciting yeah. um and i think that's really good because it makes sure everybody gets paid for you know for for the, their music that they make um but you just never know you just yeah. never know it's like when um it's like when naps started and all the big record labels said it'd never take off because it'd be too difficult to download an album yeah you know it's you, <laughs> you know it's it's, con it's constantly changing constantly yeah. changing but hope, hope hopefully big events come back soon that's what yeah, we hope definitely you mentioned earlier sort of kind of pieces of advice but we'll sort of end on what advice would you give to someone who is you know start like i mentioned earlier maybe just started college and they're thinking of getting into the industry what kind of tips would you give them i don't i think one of the key things is that you put yourself out there uh, uh, immediately when i actually when i came in and talked to your students we we you know we were we were um, talking about this and you know there's just by looking on online you can find local you know local venues local um you know record labels any any type of music you know there, there's plenty around sort of surrey and even you know even in london but you know reaching out to these people and asking if you if you can help you know it yeah. might be that you like a um you go to a particular local ven venue that you really love um they're always looking for bar staff glass collectors stuff like that yeah, one yeah. of my one of my one of my first proper dj residencies back back when i was 20 um was with a promoter that owned a bar that i went to work at 
and I specifically okay. went to work at that bar because I wanted to you know to, to, get, to, yeah. to get to know the nice. so things like that you know offering um you know offering it, unfortunately offering your time for free to help out and just pick up some experience um yeah. internships are great if you can um yeah. you know especially especially the music industry you know a lot you know a lot of artists record labels they're working on such small budgets um you know they might need help you know doing anything you know it might be going out and giving out flyers at the end of the night it's all monotonous stuff but it helps to build your network yeah, and it really yeah. helps you know to kind of once you've met those first few people you can really start to you know work your way through it and mm -hmm. yeah and it shows that you're willing to work hard as well which is a yeah. massive a, you know a massive plus yeah and comes back to you know skills of being nice being adaptable all those things sort of just setting you on the right path isn't it yeah, exactly so exactly and you know and you i think i think with those core skills you can really you know you can really go where you want to go you know nice <laughs> cool well thanks so much for chatting with me too. Pleasure. And that was thank really you very much for having me to hear about stuff and um what we'll do is if people watching have any uh, questions write them in the comments i'm sure duncan will get back to you and yep. we'll facilitate that too and also we'll put the links into your website if you like and then people can have a look yeah brilliant fantastic great opportunity. <laughs> cool right thank you for watching everyone and we'll see you next time